with your own body you can do your breath work your meditation your movement in terms of nature you can do earthing you can do sunning the ice baths on up just do everything with intention it's the consumption the absorption and the elimination i have eliminated anything that was not working for me whether it was objects or people or nutrition plans or thoughts actor healer and only one of the most dedicated biohackers in india currently our guest today is megha gupta who is going to be talking to us about all things biohacking so welcome megha ma'am uh, and over to you why don't you start by telling us a little bit about your biohacking story and how did you begin and how long has it been since you've been introduced to this school of study uh thank you sachi thank you so much for having me here and uh, for you know putting me on this platform and letting people know about biohacking how it started for me was about 5 years ago i got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and uh, oh it's a very rare thing at that age and it's usually called right. yeah juvenile diabetes which because it happens you know bachpan mein so um, hmm. i tried various nutrition plans i tried autoimmune protocol i tried vegan raw and vegan uh, paleo hmm. keto intermittent fasting everything and uh, <sighs> a lot of things didn't help and uh, then i stumbled upon uh, this term called biohacking and i started reading up on it and that's when i uh, learned about earthing about uh, sunning about the sauna about the ice baths about this carnivore nutrition plan right. and uh, that's when everything changed that's when i could really you know change my health in in a better way lovely that was that was really good to know and uh, what would you say are some of your top biohacks ever since so the top biohacks in general i like to keep it very simple because i feel like nature and your own body is something which is very accessible to you right like wherever you are these two things are very accessible to you and ice bath might not always be accessible a sauna might not always be accessible so you can do a lot with your own body and you can do a lot with nature with your own body you can do your breath work your meditation your movement and these are the top 3 biohacks you can do with your body in terms of nature you can do earthing you can do sunning and if you just start with these five things and of course have nature's bounty whether you are a vegan or a vegetarian or a carnivore it's your personal choice but again it's available in nature and nature's carbohydrates you know all of these things are actually very helpful if you use it in the right way so three things your body can do and three things your you know nature around you can do and then if you want to elevate then you can do cold showers then if you want to elevate you can do ice baths but to start with these are the top 5 lovely understood and uh, have you ever come across any biohacks that have been deeply rooted in the indian culture and more specifically in ayurveda yaar actually everything is interconnected what you do in yoga and what you do in animal flow and what you do in calisthenics they are all pretty interrelated and so we can say that you know this is a biohack but there is a reason why today we appreciate it so much and it has become a biohack it's because we have been doing it for centuries we never wore shoes and walked the earth you know we never uh, did things that we are doing now so if you ask me the one thing that we have taken from ayurveda it's definitely earthing and there is a proper science behind it like when you walk on earth the negative ions of the body get absorbed the positive ions sorry of the body get absorbed by the earth and that's why if you ever are in nature you will feel very refreshed and very relaxed and very calm and if you check your biomarkers your blood pressure or blood glucose you will see that these things will always come down when you spend time in nature so there's one thing that we have borrowed from ayurveda uh, it is uh, from our ancient times it is earthing slash grounding right understood that was a great insight definitely because i think this just uh, opens up more indians to it and you know they don't think that it's more of a foreign concept and or uh, they feel more uh, connected to it so that this definitely helps with that um and uh, what have what biohacks has been challenging versus what has been easy to adapt for you ever since you got into this wow i don't think i find anything challenging 
I have been doing it for four years now. The biohacks that I know, of course, I'm sure there's something out there which I don't know, and so I've not tried, and so now that will be challenging. But in my habit stacking, in my biohacking routine, I don't find anything challenging, honestly. My day starts with an ice bath, and yeah, the first minute before I get into it, I keep delaying it. I like, you know, walk around the house, and I'll just like talk to my dogs, and I'll do this and that. But once I'm there. it is time to work and so those four minutes and then everything that happens before and after that and taking my sauna session in the night like i don't honestly i don't find anything challenging <laughs> that's lovely to know because this is one of the major myths that you know people feel biohacking is really far out there it's not something that everybody can do <laughs> and they find it to be a much more complicated concept than it is yeah. so uh, this was a great insight um and how have your meals changed from you know what they were earlier four years back were you a vegetarian before and now that you are a meat eater so what has happened in all those five years i was never a vegetarian we are a punjabi family so on sundays chicken curry or mutton curry used to get made for sure for lunch and uh, we used to have eggs for breakfast but after i don't canvo uh, i have been having two meals a day and they have been canvo based and again like luckily touch wood for me my body accepted canvo nutrition plan very very easily you know like my it, it like a lot of people go through different uh, issues they'll get constipated they'll get headaches they you know everybody has a different symptoms It's a different symptom our body is very dynamic and every body is different so luckily for me i had no issues and canvo worked best for me but having said that i tried various nutrition plans and saw what is working for me what is not so i don't ever tell people you should do canvo i always say this is working for me see what would you know work for you understood but biohacking i think of course uh it's uh, different for everybody because the result will be different because that way the body is dynamic but biohacking is similar for everybody you sh- you and i should still do the earthing you and i should still do the ice bath sauna those things don't change the terms still remain the same right. now what you want to use your ice bath for that may change if you want to use your ice bath to recover from an injury then what time of the day you do it and how long you do it will change if i want to do it for muscle building and uh, recovery from my workout then my timing and duration of that will change so those things will change but in some things but largely earthing red light therapy journaling meditation breath work these things are standard for everybody like you have to do it but under them like how you do your breath work for you you might choose uh anulom vilom i might choose kapal bharti so you know that way you can personalize it but the larger term is the same for everybody understood understood got it that was very well explained um and uh, coming to elimination so you know elimination is also another important part of biohacking wherein uh, you check what works with your biology especially with nutrition and other things and other things that you know has been a part of our lives our households for the longest time and people might not know how that might be affecting their uh, body in toxic ways mm-hmm. uh, so what are the things that you have eliminated over the years eliminated over the years i have eliminated anything that was not working for me whether it was objects or people or nutrition plans or thoughts it's still a work in progress but elimination largely is a term which uh includes all of these things you cannot you know drink your amla juice in the morning and think ye mai kya pee rahi hu ya why do i have to go through this then your amla juice is not going to do anything for your body because it's a waste of time that your mother has made for you waste of resources waste of everything you know so uh, your thought is very important if you put intention even to water and drink that water it can really cure you of everything if you take that water and say this water is going to make me the uh, give me the confidence to have that meeting that i'm walking in into right now it will do that but if you don't have the right intention nothing will help so thoughts and intentions number 1 the other thing of course your nutrition plan i eliminated seed oils i eliminated gluten i eliminated sugar to start with these are the three things i immediately eliminated but at the same time now i don't do vegetables which are starchy like aloo and Like beetroot is not starchy, but it's sweet and carrots and all of these things. 
I stick to vegetables like leek, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, spinach, kale, and some you know these kind of vegetables. So in nutrition, that's the change I've made. In terms of people, you cannot be around toxic people and expect yourself to grow. You know whether they are your family or your friends or just people around you, your workspace people. So. if you cannot avoid it because you know they are literally a part of your friend circle or your family or you know your working space then you have to create really firm boundaries around them so that the toxicity doesn't hit you so uh, elimination has been this the fourth elimination is a uh, toxic living in terms of um the toxic load that your body can go through i have stopped using perfumes because they are uh, hormone disruptors i have stopped using um body washes face creams and body lotions and some such things uh even in the house i um either burn camphor or lavender or lemongrass and i don't use those room fresheners or anything because you know that's how your hormones get disrupted and you don't really need it once you start burning camphor you'll get so addicted to the beautiful fragrance or the fragrance that it has you will not miss those artificial fragrances if you ask me uh, you are eliminating these body washes and all of these things what are you using uh, to start with coconut oil is a great thing you can keep it in your washroom and you can mix it with salt or with used up coffee and make your scrub and you actually don't need so you can use coconut oil with a few drops of maybe you know bergamot or lavender or some such oil that works for you essential oil and use it on your body and just plain coconut oil on your face all works very well as well so basically these four kinds of elimination is important and of course your body elimination because it's a three uh, phase thing it's the absorption sorry it's the consumption the absorption and the elimination so your um elimination from your body is also very important to keep the entire system working well so yeah this is elimination is this got it that was very insightful definitely i mean uh, i've been watching your videos recently uh, on instagram and some of them are really great great insights especially uh, considering elimination <laughs> because we really aren't aware of the things that are in our households uh, you know for so long and sometimes in an indian household it gets even more difficult to you know get these rid of these things uh, to explain it to your parents or your family that you know why are we doing this is this just a new thing that we are doing or is, is it really scientific and you know in all those terms so this was very insightful thank you for that um and um, coming to indian households once again uh, what would be some of the easiest uh, biohacks that uh, you know we can uh, adapt to right now uh you to, you mean in terms of a household setup Yeah, yeah, everything in general, basically, you know, because uh, which would which might not require that much of an investment uh, in terms of money, uh, but which is really easy to adapt to, and it's not something of a big change, like you said, you like to keep things simple. So, uh, considering an Indian household, if someone is living with their family, you know, how does that happen, and what are the things that we can begin with with the basics? Okay, so when you are living, it's basically your body and the house, right? So I'll start with the body. you can wake up and instead of uh, you know just getting down to coffee first thing in the morning have water and if you can add salt to that water even better coffee as such is not a bad thing i'm not against coffee but i'm against bad quality coffee so make sure you're sourcing your coffee from a good place it is mold free myotoxin free and you must always add fat in your coffee whether it's mct oil or coconut oil or ghee or i mean i have also added bone marrow in it it's basically or butter you know anything that works for you so starting your day on that note is very important uh do not look at your phone first thing in the morning what i do is because i live alone i will see my phone to see if there's any message from my mother but then i leave it aside and i don't touch it for a while um you can start with reading journaling you can start with breath work and meditation and that kind of and what you do is you habit stack and so when you have created this routine in the morning it's a good start to the day some people would also recommend folding your blanket because it feels very powerful the indian military makes sure this is an exercise done for all the trainers because that means the first task of the day is accomplished um so habit stacking is important and things you do with your body is important and to start with cold shower is important 
because uh, it makes you feel very powerful very accomplished and gives you a lot of mental strength what it does internally to your body is a whole different beautiful science altogether um in terms of the house as much as possible like i said keep it fragrance free keep it uh, eucalyptus lemongrass camphor these fragrances work very well for aromas around the house my entire house will have camphor and the bathroom will have lemongrass um in your kitchen do not drink tap water i don't even give my dogs tap water it's uh, it's just i just feel like it's not uh, clean enough anymore unfortunately i do not use any plastic or uh, teflon pans in the house anymore it's either steel or cast iron uh, you can make these changes then um in general you know just have a look around your house your things that you're using how much plastic is is really being used by you even in sleep now when you come to sleep what i do is or ideally what you should be doing is there is no light eye level or above after 6 pm because you want to give your body the signal that it's time to sleep and so after 6 pm all the lights in the house become low light there are either lamps or mirchi lights around the house to just start signaling the body that it is time to sleep and it should start producing melatonin and in terms of sleep you want to keep your room hygiene very good you want to make sure that the room is clean and cold in the night you can try putting lavender essential oil drops on your pillow you can use a silk pillow case uh for the health of your skin and your hair you can try taking a warm shower just before sleeping because that's relaxing what you can do in terms of uh, cleansing is uh, i put salt in my pocha every day like a little bit of salt because it cleanses the energy of the house and it keeps the house fresh um i live in a very green area so i don't really need plants inside the house but you can keep plants inside the house to give you that extra boost of oxygen what you can do in your shower it's salt right everybody has it at home keep a jar of salt in the kitchen, in the washroom and after you finish your shower every second or third day just take a little salt rub it over your body and just wash it off and you know cleanse your aura that way because we do uh, collect dense energy from people right around us it can be good energy it can be bad energy and that's why i like to call it dense because not all energy is bad energy and so when you take that salt bath it kind of clears your aura clears your energy so these are small little things that you can do that you know will help you which are very low cost or zero cost as an investment right lovely that was really well explained i hope everybody is taking notes about all of these things because sometimes some of these things uh, get said very often but uh, then you know it's forgotten and uh, people don't really realize the importance of such small habits and such small changes uh, you know in order to make the big changes so definitely that was very insightful uh, lastly coming to supplements uh, as supplements are also one of the important parts of um, biohacking uh, what are sup- some of the supplements that you have started including uh, in your routine uh, i will tell you the supplements but i might not always be able to list down what each supplement is good for because i am not a scientist or a biologist at the same time i've done my research and understood this works for me and so i take it the first thing with supplementation is you first have to get your lifestyle right then your nutrition right and then get into supplementation and then if needed medical attention so supplementation is the third step first you have to do your lifestyle and your nutrition you can then get into supplementation when it comes to supplementation the important thing is to definitely get your blood work done and not take it just because another human is taking it because your body is very different from the other person so make sure that everybody is doing their blood work and then seeing okay mera vitamin d low hai mera b12 low hai i need to do this i need to take this without that it, you know there is no point because you might take it but it will just get uh, eliminated from your body uh what i do is i start my day with coffee and then i have a berberine it's i take berberine it's good to manage blood glucose levels after that in my protein shake i'll take creatine and taurine and glutamine and after that i will take ashwagandha Ah, uh, in my coffee, I also add drops of lion mane and uh, chaga. That's in the morning, 
and uh, they are great adaptogens it's uh, it's really healthy then um after my lunch i will take ashwagandha i will take glutathione ashwagandha curcumin um collagen and uh, in the night i take collagen if i haven't taken it in the afternoon and for night i take uh, curcumin collagen and i take melatonin sometimes i'm not against melatonin uh, at the same time i don't want to take it every day because i sleep very well so i don't want to get my body used to it understood lovely that was a long list of supplements and uh, again it you know uh, was that belief in people that i don't need supplements or you know it's a medicine uh, but again once again get your tests done and you would know what are some of the essential things you should need your body requires and you should definitely supply that uh, so that was a great insight uh, lastly what are some of the myths you would like to bust about biohacking uh i Okay that's a that's a great question i feel like people think biohacking is uh, some rocket science and they will not be able to do it but it's not you know if you can really some sometimes just do some r and d and you know see that it's not very difficult and the results the changes that you will see in your body and state of mind are so good that you would want to do it so that's one people think it's very complicated second people think it's very expensive people think it's very expensive to do your to to do biohacking but to each their own right jo ye afford kar sakta hai wo ye le lega you do that in your clothes and car as well right jo ye afford kar sakta hai wo ye le lega so whatever your level of spending is you be there and you do that it like literally so many biohacks are zero cost investment so before you think it's expensive you must do the zero cost investment uh, biohacks and then you know you'll anyway get so many benefits you might not want to get to the more expensive ones like i i understand you know having a sauna at home is not cheap having an ice bath at home is not cheap but there are many alternatives like for the sauna you can go and take the sun in the morning any time before 2 pm just don't look at it directly and uh, for ice baths if you don't have it just start with cold shower just wake up and take a cold shower So these two myths, gen genuinely, I feel like these two myths. I don't think anything else stops people. Right, and definitely, I mean, Megha Ma'am herself has already given us a long list of biohacks that can be easily done. You know, that might not take that much of an investment. Uh, so definitely, we should go for it and see where we can begin. What are the steps we can have in our routine and stack the habits for ourselves? So that was a very insightful session, Megha Ma'am. Thank you so much. I'm sure this, uh, you know, solves a lot of questions that people might be having uh, because it's a fairly new concept in India, and a lot of people might not know about it or they. might know something but it's just out there it's far fetched for them so uh definitely this was a very insightful session thank you lastly is there anything any message that you want to leave us with any uh, thoughts or uh, a message for the audience um i think i want to tell people to firstly start biohacking very important very beneficial please please do it start from point a when you'll get to point z you will not even realize and you will be so happy and the second thing i want to tell people is um just do everything with intention don't underestimate the power of intention just when you do something with intention whether it's drinking water or having a communication with somebody you will see the changes the other person will you know subconsciously read your intention and when you do things with the right intention there is no way you can go wrong lovely that was a lovely message thank you so much and for the ones who would like to reach out to mega ma'am and look at what biohacking is at in much more detail and see what more practices she has been including in her routine you can find it in the description below a link to her profile and more details uh, so thank you once again for gracing our podcast today it was very insightful and uh, i mean it's really great to have someone in india practice biohacking with so much dedication and and giving out so many details because there are a lot of biohackers out there but many times this uh, belief stops at that you know we don't have it in india or it's very expensive or you know are we really doing it in india right now so uh, this really helps uh, this bridges the gap uh, so thank you so much uh, that's it for today thank you so much thank you sachi thank you so much for having me over and thank you for this great talk i hope people make the change 
and uh, you know i'm very happy you have a platform where people can come here and you know get information so that's great <laughs> love you love you that's it for today we'll conclude over here thanks a lot thank you you know the drill subscribe to the settle or be better podcast like share and comment on our videos and do hit the bell icon because you don't want to miss the mind boggling health discussions we are about to bring for you why settle when you can be better